Alrighty, guys. So if you can guess what this is, like just by looking at it, I'm telling you, yeah, you guys have like a lot of information. Don't mind the roller because, you know, I'm old and my back needs work. So I bought something that is actually for the Corvette. Um, I've been really listening, really reading to all of your suggestions, but I've also had a thought in the back of my mind about the ZR1. And what this will do is verify a couple of things. Obviously, it's something that some of you have mentioned um, because again, rebuilding the LS9 uh, to stock spec is probably gonna be about the same money as if I was to send it out and have 10 to one pistons uh, or buy 10 to one piston short block, put my heads on it refurbished and you know be able to uh, reuse a lot of the stuff. But I think the cheaper route is gonna be sending mine out to a machine shop, putting some new pistons in it, and it should be less than 10 grand, I would think, because I already have the motor. But anyway, this is for something else. And I'm gonna document every little thing I'm gonna do to this car, because I wanna try something, just something that's been, in, you know, you ever have a thought in your head when you're in bed, and you're like, shit, I wonder what would happen if. Well, this is gonna help me determine a lot of those if, ands, or buts, whether it's, you know, something I wanna pursue. So. Before I get into it too much, if you can guess what this is by looking at it, you're you're doing really well. But I have to put it together, and once it's put together, then you'll know what I'm trying to do. Those of you that guessed it was a Coyote mock-up motor, <laughs> you win. So Speedway sells a Coyote mock-up motor that took me about 30 minutes to put together in between work. And Bunch of bolts, kind of self-explanatory, very easy directions, uh, and they give you a bunch of extra bolts. Why? You can bolt a timing cover to this thing. You can bolt actual cylinder heads to this thing. If you want to take the mock-up ones off, there's holes. So you can actually put bolts in it, you know what I mean? To actually put cylinder heads in it if you don't have this mock-up situation. But I do. I bought the whole thing. So the plan is this, guys. This is a 40 pound uh, template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the ZR1 and I'm gonna drop this in. Of course, I'm gonna uh, protect it. I'm just gonna throw some clear on it or something. I don't wanna paint it, paint it. Just throw some clear on it to make sure it doesn't flash rust so that in the event that I do um, swap future vehicles, I have the motor, the dimensions are right here. So you can see the crank center line, right? Crank center line is here. So you have to measure from here out in terms of um, uh, flywheel. You know, you can take a measurement because I do have a Coyote motor and you could take a measurement for balancer. So that would be the water pump. You can actually bolt in a water pump, guys. See what I mean? It has the bolt pattern for a timing cover. So that's probably the, the smart thing to do. Get a timing cover on it and then measure out how far the balancer sits and see how much room, if any, I have. So there you go. I... <laughs> If you guessed it was a mock-up motor from Speedway uh, Coyote so that I could see if it fits in the Corvette instead of taking a big massive Coyote throwing it in there to see if it fits well you win so I'm gonna get it cleared up and then I'm gonna drop it in the Corvette um, as is and just take some rough measurements and if I do need a front cover Jake already has a couple in stock so I'm gonna probably pick one up bolt it on with the insane amount of extra bolts that they give you and start taking measurements. I'm gonna give this thing a shot of clear just so I can protect it so it's not super rusty by the time I'm handling it. Got the GT500 running in the background. So I'm gonna shoot this guy and uh, once it dries, I'm gonna see how it fits in the ZR1. Can't really tell the difference, but it's a little more satin looking because I just kind of threw a coat of clear on it and that's all I want. I just want it to prevent from rusting because I don't want to change, you know, anything. Now, one thing I don't know is if the height of this accounts for the coil covers or the cam covers. These are cam covers. So I'm wondering if the cylinder head is that top part. So I'm going to just kind of look at this from this angle and look at this from this angle. I think I need a little more height, right? Like the coil, the cam covers, they're a little taller. So the biggest issue I think I'm gonna have is this. I think it's gonna hit there and it might do something weird here. But the fact that it's pretty narrow down here and I probably can get away with a uh, custom oil pan, 
it can be tall. I don't mind it being a little on the tall side, but I don't want it to be dumb. I want it, you know, I don't want it to stick out too much. The hood fitting is not gonna happen, so I'm not worried about that. So as long as I can get the back of the block, and remember, I have to have about yay much, but there's a lot of measuring that needs to happen. For the flywheel, the spec flywheel, and all that stuff, I think I'll be in a good position. But that is a regular 26 spline input shaft. So I have a spec clutch here from Bondobird, the most on-off switch clutch on the planet, and I'm gonna put it on to see if it works. This is the clutch spec stage 80, because it's like an on-off switch. Bondobird said this is the smoothest actuating clutch he's ever had. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the shot. Do it live. Well, would you look at that? Okay, so we know that 26 blind is 26 blind. So that's very nice to see. So the whole situation now is gonna be, you know, the adapter. So this bell housing can't be used. So it has to be, imagine doing this with a motor on it. That was the issue the whole time. Oof, need some grease on that boy. So uh, that's gonna be the, the issue, adapting that torque tube because the bell housing comes off those screws right there shh, shh, shh. you look closely let me zoom in because i'm holding the clutch with one hand blink 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 those come out so they don't make an adapter for like torque tube to modular if they did troubles would be over so i need to adapt a modular bell housing onto that okay and just because my curiosity is absolutely winning right now let me go Grab the block, which is probably still wet. Hey yo, and throw it in there. It's only, it's only 40 pounds, so. The phone fell. The phone fell right as I was going in. But you know what? We're here now. We're here. Oh, man. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So this is why I bought this. I wanted to see how much room I had. Now, that's going to be a problem more than likely, right? All right. But it's not a problem. And look at looking for room for manifold so it would have to have stock manifold and the nice thing is you can look through it so if i get a set of stock manifolds and see how the manifolds route that would be the next best thing but in terms of a physical fit again oil pan situation motor mount situation i'll have to get underneath and really look at it get it up in the air but preliminarily guys it ain't looking half bad so the amount of room on the sump will be interesting. So actually, the lower I get, the better. So, okay, it's still kind of tacky. I don't want to touch it. Let me stop touching it. I'll come back at it tomorrow, but it's pretty nice to look at. <laughs> it's, it's just funny. I'm, look, I'm trying stuff. You know, it, LS9 of 15,000 bucks or a 12 to 1 Gen 2 headed locked cam Gen 1 Coyote, I know, locked cam, don't worry about that. Gen 1 Coyote control pack controlling everything because these don't matter because we have more idle air control with a 2650 on top on Sunoco 260. You don't think this will make 800? Please, it'll do it in its sleep with like 14 PSI. Okay, let's get back underneath. I got the fan going because it was hot, hot. So, apologies in advance. So, um, the headers for the, oh, hell yeah, the manifolds will fit, no problem. So, when I look at the manifold location, you see? The header location for the ZR1, so all this stuff can move, so I'm not really worried about it. The oil cooler for the ZR1 stuff, O2 harness, everything that was going on. This is not going to get ripped out of the car. So again, guys, if I do swap it, I'm not ripping anything out. I, I'm, I'm keeping everything in the event that I do shove an LS9 back in there, but... I mean, 15,000 bucks versus an already existing Coyote that I have. Look at I totally have room. Again, manifolds, stock manifolds. And people say, why stock manifolds? Why not? Guys, 
I can make freaking 850 to 900 supercharged with stock manifolds. I guarantee it. It's just a matter of how much boost I want to put through the thing. So manifold on this side seems to um, not be an issue. Yeah, brother, we're good. So I know for a fact the manifolds will work. So this is why I bought the motor for vetting, vetting, and more vetting. The crank center line. So I'm able to go back a little more and this torque tube actually does move up and down. See? So there is room, so to speak, okay? So technically the motor, the, 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 the motor should be able to like mate. So I can go further back. Let me see what's preventing me from going further back. Something up there, a harness, aha, uh -huh, a harness, and maybe the brake booster and the steering shaft. Oh, maybe the steering shaft boot. Interesting. Nah, she's good. She'll go all the way back. So, okay, that'll work. This will be up in the air. Oil pan clearance, right? That's the other thing. I'm okay. So, again, this thing is going to be high mounted, so it's going to have to have motor mounts. So, it's going to be mounted a little higher than what you currently see. Uh, actually a lot higher than what you currently see let me see okay so that's probably as high as I can go so I'll have to figure out how low I can bring this guy but it seems like oil pan clearance not a huge issue uh, motor mounts will have this thing sitting higher I got to see how high I can go with the torque tube you know how to have the center lines match do you know what I'm saying actually it's a little high now so if anything the coyotes got to be like up here somewhere so better the higher the better because i'll have oil pan clearance and if you see where the motor mounts are these are the stock motor mount locations for the zr1 so it's going to require a custom mount that closely mimics stock because this is the stock motor mount okay that's how sorry there you go that's how it mounts so imagine if i have this but with that coyote bolt pattern in a similar location it's it's not terrible and a lot of people said Alex there was a C4 Corvette that had a dual overhead cam motor in it so it's not out of the realm of possibility that that's possible but again guys relax from the freak out I'm doing just this is something that I'm doing in the interim because I will not be able to get the LS9 running for a while so what's next so Manifolds, oil pan, timing cover, maybe an intake manifold just to mount it on the template and see how it all fits. And if I have all that in the template, front timing cover, uh, manifolds, stock manifolds, 11 to 14 manifolds because they're separate. They don't have the catafold like 15 and up. I think I'll be able to make this guy fit or at least be able to see how bad the fitment is going to be. So before you guys get all pissy and bent about it, and I'm not doing this to clout chase. This is something that I want to do slowly. I asked you guys if you want the long stroke or one big massive video. I could have just shelved this video and shown you a surprise. I coyote swapped the ZR1 video, but actually I'm going to be very upfront because I need the help from the... Uh, suppliers like parts farm I need manifolds I need everything I need to know if they make a c6 torque tube to modular bell housing if they do pff, buy that or I'm gonna have to have a custom plate adapted to it and basically I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride and if after it's all said and done it's feasible the projects go I already talked to Jake about it. He doesn't like it. He hates it. He thinks it's stupid. But guess what? When someone says that, it makes me want to do it even more because I know it can be done. But not until we do all the vetting. If after all the vetting and all the measuring, it doesn't make sense, then guess what? I'm not going to do it. I'll look into LS9 stuff. But at least I'll have a template with all the accessories on it in terms of measurement so that in the future I do coyote swap anything else like a Genesis. It'll be possible. But for now, this will be the guinea pig. And if... I get enough information out of the template. I should coyote swap the ZR1. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk to you later.